In this conversion.ai review video, I am going to be talking about what I have learned over the past 20 days of using conversion.ai or Jarvis 2.0. I've been using Jarvis 2.0 for over 20 days and I've gone through almost every emotion when it comes to using Jarvis. Some of those emotions are like, is it me or is it the software? Did the software really just repeat back what, what I just typed in? Or was it the fact that I wasn't specific enough with the software? So what I thought I'll do is I want to help other people grasp this software because it really is very good. And I've come across five core things that uh, I have kind of learned or found some sort of exploit whilst using the software. And I thought, hey, this is actually really useful. And it's just transformed the quality of content that this software is actually able to produce for us. So with that being said, let's jump over to my screen. Just before we get started, if you've not yet purchased this copywriting tool, head over to trialjarvis.com, click on this button here, and that will get you 10,000 free credits. Like I say in all my past videos, I am a firm believer of trying a software before investing in it, because that way you can truly decide if this software is for you without the risk of it costing you any money. Okay, so the first tip I want to give you guys is my kind of like my little hack for using the software. Hack number one is spaces. Now when you're using Jarvis, especially the long form assistant tool, one of the things that they want you to do is write about 10 words before you click the compose button. In fact, they actually restrict the button until you've done that. What they haven't realized is that if you do spaces, uh, around about 10 spaces, instead of actually writing words, it will actually reactivate the compose button. Let me show you. What I'm talking about is actually this button right here. This usually says compose, but what they actually want you to do after every single time you press the button is when you want the software to write some more for you, Jarvis wants you to give it a trigger, okay? And that trigger is usually 10 words, okay? So um, what you'll see, if I do a space, you can see it says make some edits and now that's changed to 10%. And if I do uh, another space, 20, and let's just do it all the way to 100 spaces and now you can see it says compose. Now one of the reasons why this is such a good little hack is because sometimes I actually just can't think of 10 words to actually put in a sentence so even using it just to get a little bit of inspiration of those first 10 words uh, and getting Jarvis to do that is actually really handy and it also means I can be a little bit more lazy when writing this content. The second thing that I really like about Jarvis 2.0 aka the pro plan is the unlimited credits because sometimes you're being experimental and when you're being experimental it means that you're going to do more and consume more which means that you're actually going to be burning through your credits pretty fast but when you're on the pro plan you get unlimited credits which means you can be as uh, adventurous as you want uh, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay so here I am in the power editor of Jarvis 2.0 and what you can see is if I wanted to, let's say, start doing blog post outlines, uh, which I'm actually going to be talking about shortly as well, um, but if I'm going to be doing uh, this particular uh, generator for my blog content, then what you can see is that when I click generate, well, here there's probably around 50 words, maybe a little under, and that's 50 credits that are gone okay and when you're doing you know the odd one here and there that's not a big thing but what if you want to generate uh, lots and lots of these things so all of a sudden if I wanted to do let's just say five and click generate AI that's like what 250 credits that's already gone but this way I can actually do 500 and it's not going to cost me any more it's not going to burn through any credits because I have unlimited credits ultimately even if you've got a lot of money to burn with this you're actually saving out saving on so much money just by going with the pro plan okay okay so having unlimited credits just means that you can be more creative it just means that you can be a little bit more reckless on and a little bit more wasteful so to speak when you're actually trying to come up with ideas and inspiration and get Jarvis to write your articles for you one of the really annoying things that I found when I was using conversion.ai was the repetitiveness 
of some of the generations. In fact, it actually did my head in every single time I put something in uh, or when I was writing along for my system, it did it. For some reason, it kind of glitched out or it kind of just ran out of ideas somehow. Um, so it just kept producing the same results over and over when I was trying to create a longer blog post. But I found a little trick thanks to the Facebook group community, which I strongly recommend you join. I'll leave a link below for you. And the trick is really simple. So this brings me on to tip three, which is document setting. So let's go over to my screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here I am on that document again. Whenever you ask Jarvis to compose information for you, it will take the text above and up to 600 words of the text above, as well as the overall theme of the document settings. So it's going to take all of that information and it's going to create new info. But what if you've got some very similar content or the, the or it's very specific information? Well, what's going to happen is Jarvis is actually just basically going to spit out the same sort of thing and it's going to do its best to make it as creative as possible but that's not always going to help us now in order to avoid duplicate stuff or you are finding that this is the case with a lot of the content you're producing a little trick that you can do is just simply click here change the title and change the content description and Jarvis will automatically start producing some much newer, much more fresh sort of content. Remember, Jarvis is basically using the information we feed it and it's doing its best to, to build the puzzle for us with the pieces that we give it, okay? So if we sometimes change the pieces for Jarvis, that's going to spike a whole bunch, a whole load of new creativity for Jarvis to use in our content. Now, when it came to actually creating a blog, I actually found Jarvis really difficult to use and I think I found it, di well, actually, I know I found it difficult to use because I didn't really understand how to structure blogs properly but ultimately Jarvis uses a proper structure when it comes to creating blog content and stuff like that so if you aren't really if you were like me and you're not really familiar with how blogs should actually be structured one of the first things that you should do is actually create a outline of the blog therefore that will actually allow Jarvis to really understand what this blog is going to be about. And that brings me on to tip four, which is blog outline. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's head over to power power mode and I'm just going to type in blog outline and then blog post outline here, okay? So let's say that we wanted to write better blogs, okay? So we would enter our information like so and then we have these uh, numbers here. So if I copy this, paste it in and let me just um, remove the numbers to make a clearer idea. Okay, so now that we have added those uh, bullet points into this document, what we're actually going to do is use these as starters for our sentences, okay? So just to give you an idea, I'm going to click at the end of here and I'm just going to go ahead and click compose. Okay, and there we have it. We now have our first title, you know, our first section, our first paragraph with a description of it, okay? Now, let's move on to the second one. And do you remember my first tip, which, which was the spaces? Well, here we have a prime example. I'm just going to do space 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, and then I'll just delete that little bit like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and do compose. Okay, and basically that is what I'm talking about, which is if you use the blog outline tool, you don't really need to be that creative. It just does it for yourself. So you just use those bullet points as the big, as the first few words of your sentence. And as you can see, it starts spitting out content uh, effortlessly. Okay, so let's move on to tip number five, which perhaps is one of the most important things I can say to you and I believe anyone else can say to you because when I took this tip on board, when I realized this idea, um, it, it basically changed everything for me, okay? And the tip is expectations. So it's actually aligning your expectations your expectations uh, the right way to ensure that actually you're not just gonna get frustrated at the software when it doesn't produce something that you think it should. You see, 
one of the things I've learned after, again, 20 days of, well, it's been over 20 days, but over 20 days of using conversion.ai almost every single day is, again, if the information being produced isn't good enough for us, most of the time it's because we are not being specific enough with uh, what we are inputting into the software. The idea of Jarvis isn't to just take away us writing content because our content needs to be in our flavor. It needs to be spoken the way we uh, want it to speak, okay? So the idea of Jarvis is to take away the heavy lifting with our guidance and with our tweaking, okay? And what Jarvis will do a lot of the time is it will spit out really good and pretty decent flowing uh, sentences and paragraphs and then we jump into those sentences and paragraphs and basically maybe amend a word or two or you know split it up or or oh and i honestly believe that is the most important tip i can give you when it comes to using jarvis it's about taking away 80 percent of what you would n uh, normally need to do so you only need to do the final 20 percent so if it would normally take you let's say 30 days to write a ebook or something on those lines well if you use Jarvis the chances are it will take you maybe six days to do which means that you've got 24 days to do maybe do another ebook or another few ebooks in that time. With that being said, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a like. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.